friends, I'm Mike again, glad to have you guys back to another video where we check out the coolest tech. Today we are going to talk about one of the smallest but most feature packed keyboards that I've ever used and it's this one by Angry Meow. So this is the Angry Meow 65 list which they actually renamed to Compact Touch. So I find the new name a lot more fitting because it is a very small keyboard with only 59 keys and instead of having the arrow keys over here, they actually replaced it with this touch panel over here. Now by doing this, they're able to make the keyboard layout perfectly symmetrical which is great for aesthetics. And notice that the front over here is slightly tilted like this. This is designed so that it makes it easier for both of your thumbs to touch the panel and move it around while you're typing so you don't have to move your hands at all. So when they told me about this keyboard, I was a bit hesitant about using it because I do love my arrow keys. So they actually sent me this keyboard to use and test out like a month ago. So at first, it was kind of cool to play with the touch panel and see how it works. You swipe left for the left arrow, right for the right, and you can swipe up and down. And when you swipe and hold it there, it actually keeps repeating the key. So the touch panel was very well designed and it's very easy to control. But let me tell you guys, I did not like using this touch panel at all. It really felt like something was missing for like the longest time. It takes a lot of work to get used to using arrow keys with your thumbs. It's a very different kind of feel. And when I'm choosing photos, I like to use the up and down arrow keys a lot. So I can definitely tell you that it is still a lot more satisfying pressing a button to scroll through your photos than using this touch panel. However, after using it for a long, long while, I did kind of get used to it and I found it kind of helpful where when I'm editing videos, I didn't have to move my hand to use the arrow keys. So that's a bit quicker than me moving my mouse hand over to my arrow keys to shift the frame. And the funny thing is that when I switched to a normal keyboard and want to use the arrow keys, I actually placed my thumbs where the touch panel was and started touching there instead. So I do think this is something that you get used to, but it will take like a while. So despite the touch panel situation, I really enjoyed using the keyboard and there's three reasons why I liked it so much. So the first thing I really like about it was the build and the aesthetics. Although this keyboard is small, it's really, really heavy. So it feels really premium. And even on the back, it has a wireless charger, which uh, I don't think I'm gonna use because you need their wireless charging mat. So I know there's other keyboards that look and feel really premium and awesome as well. But with most of those mechanical keyboards, you have to use the cable. But with the Compact Touch, it's totally wireless. You can connect up to three Bluetooth devices and the Bluetooth connection is quite stable. I've actually used it for gaming and scripting and using it for all kinds of things. And the thing that's really captivating about the aesthetics is of course the RGB. So it uses these transparent keycaps that they make themselves. I think these are the Glacier Dark keycaps. It just looks gorgeous. So you can switch between the different light settings by pressing function and backslash. And you can also use our DIY program to customize each and every single individual LED switch. So for myself, I made it into this green, which I really think it matches my setup. So I'm really happy with that. And the other cool thing here is that if you want to check the battery level, you press function P and it shows you how much battery is left on the keyboard. And the battery life lasts like quite a while. I only had to charge it once in the whole month that I've been using it. And you can also customize every single button as well on the second layer. So that was quite important for me because I mean, this keyboard does not have that many keys, okay? By pressing the function button to access different shortcuts, that was very useful for me. So when I was using it, I really liked how small it was. I can use my mouse and have my monogram console on the side as well without cluttering up my desktop too much. So overall, I like the minimalist design. It even says less is more on the back right by the USB charge port. And for size comparison, I actually have the other keyboards to compare with here. So this is the Adjustable Flex Alice, the keyboard that I reviewed before. If we put it side by side, it is huge compared to the Compact Touch. And then we have the Cyberboard Terminal. This is one of their iconic keyboards that they first launched. Now you can kind of see that the Compact Touch is really compact compared to all their other keyboards. And then this is the Drop Alt, the mechanical keyboard that I used before. It is this big. And then of course we have the MX mechanical keyboard that I've been using over here. This is the smallest keyboard just because it doesn't have the arrow keys. Anyways, now we're gonna compare the typing test because the third reason why I love this keyboard is because of the typing experience and the feel of the keyboard itself. So here's the typing test for you.
So I think the adjustable flex Alice and the compact touch uses the same switches. They're both linear. But this one sounds deeper for some reason. I'm not sure why. It has to be with the internals. But if you notice during the typing that this keyboard flexes a bit as well. They actually put the leaf springs from the adjustable flex Alice into the compact touch as well. So there's a two-stage flex option that you can choose from inside so that you can customize it and fine tune it to make it the most comfortable for you. So let's open this up and see what's inside and how to customize it. So in this little package, they give you this screwdriver for you to open it up with. So the screws are located over here and just so you can see this is the IC linear switch over here and it uses these stabilizers as well. I think these are the Gateron black ink stabilizers. So I'm going to remove all the black screws. So this whole part comes out on the back. You can take the front part out as well. So there's the connection that connects to the touch panel. So this is cool. This is actually where the uh, lighting block is. What does that light up? So if we turn on the lights, you can see that there are these lighting blocks. Which is pretty cool. I didn't know that it was here for this model. This is actually for their special lighting editions. And can I change them? Yes, I can change them. The thing is, if you cover this up, you won't be able to see it, right? I've never seen this part light up. That's a cool find. So this is connected on the bottom over here through these. So you don't have to disconnect these to change out the leaf springs. And it seems like by default, it comes in position one. If you can see over here, this over here, this little stub, this plastic stub is in position one. This is position two. So that's why when you press it, you see the springs moving. That's how it achieves that flex ability. The way that it came, it's using four of these leaf springs over here and two of the silver ones down here. For example, if we were to change this, so you can take this out, right? And then put this plastic part over here, put it back in. You see how this is a lot more stiff versus this one? This one is the more flexible one. So I'm actually gonna change all of them to the second stage and make the whole flexibility more stiff. Now everything is changed to stage two and you can see that the flex is different, slightly different. So that's pretty cool because normally if you want to change the stiffness, you would have to buy different materials for the board. And uh, now you can just adjust it and play around with it all you want. And compared to the adjustable flex Alice, this was a lot easier to take apart. So they really improved on that aspect. So let's put it back together. Now we put the keyboard all back together, it feels, yeah, it is noticeably a lot more stiff. The only other way is to test it with another one. This is the Mech Love. It's another variant. This was the lighting effects over here that I mentioned before. You can change it to different colors and it's flashing. So by default, this is again on stage one and this is stage two. If you see the flex over here versus Oh yeah, you didn't really see that flex. Yeah, that's quite noticeable. So I am curious to see what is this about? Oh, okay, so it is a bit different. This is, this looks thinner. So there, it's a thinner piece. With the special lighting edition, it has this part, it's flatter, but they use this glass piece to amplify the light so it comes up on top. So it's blue and yellow over here. When you put it on, it shows very clearly. So this is the Mech Love variant. It is inspired by Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix. So you got the yellow X and the blue square over here. And it also has a very battle styled look where it looks a bit distressed over here. So all these little scuffs are intentional, whereas with the all black version, it's very nice and very clean looking, except for all the fingerprints. It's a fingerprint magnet, but uh, as long as you don't touch the sides or anything like that, you're gonna be fine. And it's a lot less visible on the lighter parts over here. So the cool thing about the compact touch is that there's a lot of variants. They have one that's inspired by Back to the Future. They have another one called Night Drive, inspired by Cyberpunk, Edgewalkers, and they have a bunch more other variants that I'll show on the screen. So as you might know, with this kind of build quality and all these features, it's gonna come at a premium price. So for the all black over here, this is the standard bundle. This would be 498, close to like 500 bucks. And the special edition with the lighting, 
So there's the mech love and then there's the laser which is inspired by the Cybertruck is 550. So it's 50 bucks more to get the special lighting effects. Also, if you really want to customize it, they do have a mech love customizable version where you can customize the symbols that are on the left and right side of the keyboard over here. And you can also customize the engraving that's on the back. So guys, that's the Angry Meow Compact Touch or AM65 less. If you're looking for a compact mechanical keyboard that is super premium, wireless and has hot swappable switches and just looks gorgeous, this is a pretty cool option. I'll put all the links to everything in the description below for you to check out. And that's it for now guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about the keyboard or if you have any questions at all, I'd love to help you guys out. Also, if you're still watching right now, remember to drop a fire emoji to let me know that you watch up to this point and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye.